So it is day 15, which is lockdown day for the quail eggs. So I'm going to set up my camera and I'm going to take you through the whole process. I'm going to do it really quick because I don't want to keep them out of the warmth for too long. So I don't hurt the poor things in their last days. So I'm going to quickly try to do all this work while filming it. And hopefully I'll be able to get it all on camera. So basically the process today will be opening up the, the incubator, um, taking the eggs out of the automatic egg turner, removing the automatic egg turner, and then putting in a bunch of stuff to increase in humidity as much as possible. So I'm going to try to put in, I don't really have any sponges, but I'm going to try to lay the, um, put a bunch of towels at the, in, in cloths at the bottom of the incubator and then run my tubes, my hydration tubes, down onto them so I hopefully can keep them hydrated and keep that humidity up for the last few days. So in the next, over the next few days, these quail eggs should start hatching, which is really exciting. So let's get to work. Alrighty, so first we need to unplug. It's crunch time. Okay, so I put the very wet, very hot towels, had them soaking in hot water here in a bucket, and now I'm trying to dry off my hands before I touch the eggs. I'm going to start putting the eggs in. back in there. Alright, so I also want to, while I'm here, I'm going to insert some tubes for hydration purposes. Hopefully this gets back up to temperature very, very quickly and we'll be in business. Good luck, my children, and Godspeed. All right.
right, and there we have it. So the temperature is quickly getting back up. It's currently 95 degrees Fahrenheit, so it needs to get back up to 99.5, 100 degrees. And the relative humidity is off the chart. So I may actually consider this with the towels on the bottom as the best way to go about doing humidity in the future. Because you might have seen as I was disassembling, I previously had it like a little pan, but I don't think that provided enough like surface area to properly, like I was able to keep it around 50%, but it was really hard to get above 50%. And right now, maybe a little too humid. It is now currently 88% humidity in there with those towels, but that's also because they were hot towels. So they're letting off a lot of steam. And I used hot towels just also to help get the temperature back up as quickly as possible. So, so yeah, plenty of humidity and hopefully the temperature will get back up. I'll have to keep a watch on it because again, this, this, the thermostat on this is a little twacked, but um, yeah, so we'll try to try to get these quail eggs hatched. Now I've never hatched quail before, so I couldn't tell in any way. I can, you, you can't really candle them properly because of all the speckles and it's hard to like see through the thick shell. So there, I didn't candle them at all. Um, just by the feel, I couldn't really tell. Like the, I, it, it felt like there was some hef, heft to them. Like they didn't feel hollow or anything like that, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, I did see some weirdness to some of the eggs, like surface wise. So I don't know if that's indicative of like failed eggs, but we'll find out soon enough. For all I know, they started hatching already, <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them be for the next few days and hopefully they'll hatch out. Now make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel that you subscribe because you don't want to miss out on all the cute little quail babies. And uh, if you are subscribed to my channel, Thank you for joining me on this journey. <laughs> In any case, I'll definitely provide an update once they hatch, if they hatch, and I'll provide an update even if they don't hatch because this channel is all about successes and failures and showing the reality. And then I'll certainly reflect on what might have gone wrong. I blame the incubator, but there's also some user error too, I will admit. So in any case, um, that's it for now. So definitely stay tuned and you'll hopefully, we'll all see some cute baby quail coming.